Good morning guys and welcome to the channel called Good Game Grabs. We're found on YouTube.com. We, uh, we focus on finding things that are 80s, 90s retro, but we also focus on finding video games that are sweet, restoring them, but we also sprinkle in a bunch of reselling. Uh, and we also like to go to the Goodwill bins a lot. So if you're here for that, stay tuned because that's exactly what we're doing right now. So it's about nine minutes until the Goodwill bins open. We're just chilling in the car. And I just wanted to take this time to say that Zesty and I uh, put out at least two episodes every week. It's every Tuesday and Friday at 7 a.m. CST, bare minimum. Sometimes we do three episodes a week, it just depends. But if you guys have been entertained, enlightened, educated, any of the above, if you just straight up think that Zesty and I are cool people, we'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and uh, give a like to any video that you have found any of those things uh, aforementioned. Mentioned. we'd appreciate it and okay we're gonna go stand in line let's go let's go get to it I'm not bad on the game front already this morning uh, three Wii games nothing wild but uh, sing it we fit plus and we play let's keep going no man this is uh this is one of the earliest goosebumps I ever read but uh, man broached oh no way got the library uh, card back in the back though I think we're just gonna get this just for pure nostalgia factor. Like the fact that it's living, it's lived a interesting life. If you guys watch the channel or go to bins yourself, you know that every 3DS case has the game out of it. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Um, oh, okay. Um, yeah, wow. Okay, let's bring that back to the park. Very good, very good. This album is incredible. I thought it was a comic at first, but this is really great. 1977 DC Comics. Uh, it does have a little bit of drawing on it, but maybe we can clean it up. I think this is really cool. Really, really cool. That's awesome. Superman's on Superwoman and Batman. Batman with a, yeah, with a beard. This is great. As I was going back to the cart, I noticed Frogger pretty sits right there, the backing, and then I noticed Circuit for Bowling front, and so I'm gonna have to come back into this game and move around some more, because I feel good about the PS1 stuff being in here. Just kind of carefully picking apart this little section of the bin, just making sure that I don't bust apart any PS1 cases that we may find. Uh, doesn't look pretty good so far though. A lot of records that don't seem very worth taking. Classic always. No good CDs yet today either. a ton of children related stuff in the booth and this looks perfect this is a perfect example of what would be great for the booth uh, it's in relatively good condition still has the little stylus on there this will be perfect we'll probably put like you know six to eight bucks on this in the booth and it'll sell for sure hmm. toy store movie book library interesting we also tend to sell a lot of Star Wars stuff. Uh, let's see, this is an activity book. And it looks to be pretty clean, actually. We can flip through some more pages. Yeah, I think 
we'll double check it, but it looks clean. And uh, again, that'll go in our booth sell really quickly. Raise your hand if you had a crush on Alex Mack back in the day. <laughs> I think we're going to keep this just for nostalgia factor for the collection. Pretty cool. Zesty and I both have a uh, soft spot for Calvin and Hobbes books, and this one is actually in really good condition. So, yeah, pretty happy about that. Heck yeah. I just saw this in crumbles over here, and I was like, no, but no. It's not complete. Oh no, guys. No. Okay, we're gonna have to dig. There's a uh, there's an interactive CD with, uh, with demos. Okay, we're gonna have to dig in here for Alundra. There's a PS3 game as we're looking over here. Dishonored. Not in there. We might just keep it for the case though. Okay, let's let's put this back in the cart and keep digging. Had a really good feeling about finding PS1 stuff after we found some little hints and clues in different bins, but uh, I, guys, cross your fingers, we find this other disc. I'm super bummed, we couldn't find it, but the fact that this is in really solid shape, it's got the manual in it, I'm so happy to have it, for sure. It looks like a fun game, actually. I've never played this game before, so stoked on that. But, more importantly, let's go through this DS case that's that was surprising 3DS case rather um I had no idea like this <laughs> yo this is crazy I've never found this many games in, in, in this many DS games and 3DS games in one go um Mario vs Donkey Kong Wipeout 2 what do we got here Yellow Avenger Dogs 2 Pets Love it. And then uh, Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story, and then of course the actual game that belongs in here. So I am just beyond like <laughs> stoked for this because yeah, every time we open a 3DS or DS case, they're gone. So I'm happy as hell. Let's go. Back on my sports stuff and <laughs> this <laughs> racket cover is very convincing. More power, 10% lighter by Cliff Swain. I believe this. I believe this. I might just pick this up for myself. I might start playing rack tennis. Tennis? Ball? I don't know. I am scared to open this up, but how good is this right now? How good is this, guys? Oh my gosh. Want to go to the water park, Slater? Oh my gosh. And it has 54 color photos of all of them? Oh man, even if this is not complete, I just wanna I wanna save this. Like for personal. This is this is sweet. I'm loving this. This looks halfway promising. It looks like it didn't explode in the bin because it's still got the dice and like little pieces like this. We're definitely we're definitely getting this. I mean, I don't I, I don't see why not to throw this in the collection. Like this is the right up our alley, even though it's a little rogue. Yeah, I mean, talk about your 90s nostalgia. 101 right here, said Bobo. As you guys can imagine, I saw a bunch of trade-in dollars when I saw all these helmets here. Um, but, and they are all complete. They all have chin straps, they all have their face guards. They're all in really easy to shave. But these are the older style helmets that they did not take last time. So I am scared to take these. Yeah, I mean, I'm going back and forth, but I want to say, I want to say no. We might, we might end up like googling a model number and see what they're going for on eBay and go from there. But otherwise, I don't know. I don't really care if I'm that much. Okay, guys, six dollars and ninety-one cents later. I mean, we have a very like curated haul here. We're actually gonna go home and go over everything. We haven't done a home recap of bin stuff in a while, so that's what we're gonna do today. Guys, we had to drop by our friend Matt's loft. He's been on the show before, found that really cool Street Fighter VHS in the bins, but he bought a um, he bought Metal Storm on NES from us. We cut him a little deal on it. 
He's gonna be super happy to add this to his collection. And uh, I'm trying to get him back on the show. If you guys wanna see Matt back on the show, let me know. Cause I wanna see him back on the show. But more importantly, let's get him this game. No oh, worries. Like no worries. <laughs> I love stairs. Let's go. <laughs> no, I mean, I love it, man. This is awesome. I love box stuff, too. I'm going to do a stream with the Mario Kart live soon. Yeah. I want to do that. I want to try and uh, put up some cameras around where the course would be set up. But yeah. then also stream the system. That'd be cool. That'd be yeah, fun. Matt's into streaming, too. I mean, that's kind of where we reconnected our, our friendship, sort of, after cars and stuff. So, yeah, man. Your zone. Yeah. Heck, yeah. Hi, kitty. Bongo Jones. Hi, <laughs> Bongo. There's your thumbnail for extra views. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just this. Yeah, right. Cats, Just and, him. cats and games. Kitty and games. <laughs> Ooh, I'm loving that Mutant League football. Yeah, boy. Yeah. I like what you know about Mutant League. Like I just, I'm picturing an acrylic stand right here. Yeah, right. Like we need something cool for yeah for, for him Store. to join his home. Like what? What is even close to Metal Storm in terms of rarity or value or both that you have? That I have? Yeah. I don't know. I would have really? to go through my list and like yeah. I'd have to go through my little game I app and look right. at because I don't keep up with prices like Fair the hardcore collector should. Yeah. Like I don't plan on selling any of them. If I don't have a duplicate of it, then it's not going anywhere. I get you know it. what I mean? Yep. Yep. I get it. So, but yeah, we got. Lots of stuff here. I have a long, long running feud with with uh, Battletoads. <laughs> One of my favorites of all time. Yeah. So I've never beat that. Fair. Never beat like, it? Like never straight up. Like okay. I have with Game Genie or something, but <laughs> never as a kid or even as an adult have I beat it straight up. <laughs> no, but, that's awesome. Yes, mini game. Like that, this, this is over how many? I think I've got uh, 150. This doesn't even look like that. Right? It doesn't you know? look like crap, does it? It's like, oh, he's got a few. Yeah, no, it's like almost two, yeah, 150. No, that's awesome. games. This cabinet is like perfect too. Yeah. For, for it's, it. it was a good shape. Yeah. <laughs> it had yeah. The right. Nice and like tucked back. Yeah. Yeah. So, I need something like that for my game room. <laughs> and we're working on slowly getting them all in little sleeves or in these yeah. cases. Yeah. Heck yeah. There's a bunch we'll that's not to, out. We'll have to do another update once you... Yeah, I got a bunch more. of PlayStation and Xbox stuff that's not out. That yeah. It's just... Well, it's I mean, you come to the bins, you, I mean, you know, like, you get oh, a whole ton of PS stuff, a ton of uh, Wii, oh, a ton of 360. Our bin finds are here. Yeah, buddy. Sealed we're, DS, yeah, baby. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're back at the house, big chilling in the living room. We're actually watching some NES Pursuit right now. Shout out to them. But uh, also, Olivia Benson here is guarding the hall for today. Olivia, what are we doing? What do you think, Liv? Okay. Okay. All right. Make yourself more comfortable. Does that add value to these? <laughs> okay, so starting off with the games, I just want to talk about uh, Alundra really quick. I actually didn't notice that this was just sort of a placekeeper. Uh, it's not actually for a disc, uh, which is kind of weird that they would make it a double disc for that reason, uh, a double disc case, but this is the actual game case. I looked up the comps on eBay, and this is the full complete game. And of course, it is black label, as you guys can see. So this is about a 40 to $45 game. Pretty cool. Great, 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 good game grab. Great game grab. <laughs> a, uh, a demo uh, PS1 CD, which is always cool. Our 3DS little haul that we got with multiple games. I'm still over the moon about this. I mean, what? Like, <laughs> I didn't even look up the value of this Monster Hunter stories, but I mean, I'll throw up the value of everything that we had uh, in this little just haul here. Ex well, maybe just for the games anyway. Just a Wii Play, a Wii Fit Plus, and a, and a Disney Sing It. These aren't crazy. Um, we'll probably just throw these in 
to the booth and just see what happens, you know. They're uh, they're not going to fetch anything wild, but, you know, at three to four bucks per, uh, it was worth picking up. And, you know, we can also use them as donor cases as well, which I've been known to do, because when I sell games on eBay, I like to have a nice case on them. So that is that. That's also what's actually going on with this Dishonored over here. Uh, sorry for the cats being crazy over there, but uh, yeah, this Dishonored uh, for PS3 is just going to be for a case swap. We actually have some media, some more media actually. Um, this DMX, always check your cases guys, this was a, a fault of mine. Um, DMX stuff, uh, rest in peace to him, but you know, it's really weird that you know when people pass away, uh, their stuff goes up in value, so that probably explains why somebody's took the CD out of this and left the case. There was a bunch of other rap related uh, and hip hop related albums and CDs um, that had their CDs gone today. So I don't know who did it, but somebody was taking all the rap CDs. Um, this Goosebumps was pretty roached, but it's just gonna go in the collection. Um, the, the spine is taped and everything too. I mean, I don't have this one. That's the only reason I took it. So what it, it is what it is. Uh, Time Cop. Uh, Prizzy's Honor, which has Jack Nicholson in it. I've never actually heard of that movie, but I saw Jack Nicholson. The Shadow, I kind of blacked out on getting this. I don't remember even picking this up. Uh, Stargate and Superman 2. I think all of these, except for maybe Prizzy's Honor, <clears throat> excuse me, are going to be about 4 to $5 VHS in the booth. So as long as we can pay under a buck each, which we pretty much do by weight, we'll take it every day. Uh, this super cool album, guys, I can't get over it. It's so neat. Uh, I think this might be a, this has got to be a personal collection album. I mean, uh, Zesty's got a nice little collection over there, so we'll probably end up putting it there. Pretty cool. Uh, this is for the booth. As I told you guys, it'll be about a 6 to $8 item. This will be a, probably like a $3 coloring book or something like that in the uh, booth. A lot of, we, we do sell a lot of Star Wars stuff. Um, Calvin and Hobbes, very, very, very classic in pretty solid shape. Uh, again, this will be like a 3 to $5 item in the booth because we pay by the inch. Another Alex Mac. Uh, again, it'll be like a $3 book in the booth. And the Save by the Bell game. I got to go through it, guys, and see. But uh, our friend Matt that was in this episode was like, yo, we should stream. We should live stream playing this game. And I think that'd be pretty fun. Uh, just playing all the random, like, 90s pop inspired games that we have actually because we have a couple so I think that'd be pretty neat Oh, I would have been a jerk to forget this uh, I actually laid this out here for this reason but our friend Matt also gave us a switcher for uh, retro consoles that use the uh, the RGB uh, so that was pretty cool I thought um, yeah really nice little four port so I can hook up four systems so I can reduce the wires nest that is going on in my game room so thank you again Matt it's very nice of you. Alrighty, guys, and right now you'd probably be like, well, this is going to be the end of the episode. It is not. Enjoy the rest of the footage. Check it out. All right, guys, it is Saturday morning, and this is what the radar is going to be looking like in the future, according to this website and at nine o'clock is when we are about to get clobbered by a bunch of rain with that being said this is what the weather kind of looks like right now and there is a flea market that's at a church and a well, neighborhood wide garage sale as well like right down the street and one starts at seven one starts at eight i'm hoping that they decide to weather out the storm and go for it so I don't know, fingers crossed guys, that uh, we at least find a couple people set up at both of these things. So church flea market looks like there's maybe about five vendors, six vendors. I don't know if you guys can see that really well, but I think we're gonna at least see if there's some personal items we can get. I don't, I don't know, this doesn't look very promising. Let's go.
Oh, I'm I good. can lift them for no, you. You're, you're, I, no, you're fine. <laughs> I think I've done the majority of these. The pencil one I gave up on. <laughs> that would drive me crazy. It did. I want something to relax, not drive me crazy. Most of these, th know, this I one it was this easy because it was color coordinated. I was thinking that one or that one. They were fun. They, they got me through last year. Oh, I know. I worked a lot of them too. <laughs> I did that and put Legos together that were my grandkids. I did enough of those when my son was young, so well, I was I like, got yeah, nine I'm done. Grandkids and they, but that's an idea. But they all didn't want their Legos. So I said, give me all your Legos, and they had some booklets, and I sorted them out, put them together, sold them online for them, and gave them the money for them. There you go. So it kept me busy and gave them spending money. Okay. Did you buy the tub or bring the tub? You bought the I tub. I bought the tub. But it holds everything. Yeah, it was just the perfect size tub I'm looking for at home, so. All right, let me get you changed. What'd you find? All right, you got four CDs, it looks like. Okay. You need a bag or are you putting them in your backpack? Uh, I can put them in my backpack. Okay. Yeah. All righty, and there is four for you. Great, thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, would you happen to do five bucks on this? Uh, I'm sure. Yeah, I will. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't know who I'm talking yeah, to here. No, you're fine. <laughs> I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> Sorry for the dumb look. You, I'm like, no, I, you, <laughs> you, you looked the part. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know her too well. Yeah, you just yeah. Know. It's just kind of, it's just kind of there. Yeah, <laughs> it's natural. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys. Yeah, for me too. <laughs> All right, so a couple pickups. I mean, I'm not mad about it for sure. Uh, those CDs, we should be able to double up our money at the local CD shop. If not, you know, just see what they go for on eBay, maybe. Um, but at minimum, we're doubling our money there. And then the LED lights were brand spanking new. So, I mean, we can either see what the comps are on those or use them from the game room. I think the latter because the game room needs some needs some more, uh, our, you know, LED love. So onto uh, this community wide garage sale and maybe a couple more on the way out. We'll see. Okay, so the rain is starting to come down. It's 7.30 right now, but I think we should be able to hit some sales. I mean, I see some signs up and people out, so we're gonna try for it for sure. But this is like a bunch of like little townhomes and condos and stuff like that. So uh, they're kind of tucked in. So we're, we might be doing a little walking, maybe getting a little wet, who cares? We're having fun, we're thrifting, we're doing stuff. Yeah, Ken, the one thing we forgot was
with the fan because there's just not You're much. You're not going to need a fan today. Well, from just from in here, it's kind of well, stuck. Just step outside a couple of <laughs> There's anything there you're interested in? Anything's a quarter. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. Anything on the glows name on. And those are men's t shirts. They're just Is one. is the the toad suck a real place? I guess. I you know my sister went several years ago. I guess so. These are kinda cool though. They really are. I so actually I kept one that was pink for myself. Yeah. <laughs> and I wear you know, for exercise and Yeah. Up. I see. And she said, I'm leaving this all behind. I'm like, oh, gee. <laughs> okay. All right. But anyway, that's part of the deal, so I said, okay, we'll work on it. Gotcha. It's not stuck. So long ago, I don't even remember what's here. You guys don't happen to have any like a uh, Sega or Nintendo related items, do you, by chance? Nintendo? Yeah, just uh, like anything yeah, like old electronics sure. or video games yeah. or anything. I know. Somebody else was here asking me. Oh, we have gotcha. This case full of cassettes. Oh, you got some cassettes? <laughs> That's kind of cool. I'll take a look at cassettes. Some of them you made yourself, but some of them are the cars. Huh. Yeah, cool. Anyway. No, yeah. yeah thank you. Had... And everything is negotiable. Gotcha. Gotta find a new home. That's right. <laughs> and you know what? I I don't even need the 50 cents. Oh, but <laughs> Just take yeah, a buck. Oh, I will gladly give you a chance, though. I have it. Oh, if you have it. I mean, you know, it's, it's really not a big deal either way. <laughs> well, I appreciate you coming. I'm yeah. glad somebody found something. Yeah, I appreciate you. Good yeah, luck with uh, Good luck with getting rid of everything. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I just think they're cool, honestly. More than anything, um, don't even know the value, but Miami shirt, I feel like, should have something attached to it. But we're going to keep digging in here. How we doing? How's it going? Good morning, how are you? I'm doing good. Good. Cool M&M dispenser. Yeah, <laughs> wow. That brings back memories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Most definitely. Most definitely. You don't happen to have any like uh, Nintendo or Sega related things for sale, do you? By any chance? The only thing I have that this is just a game for the kids, but it's just some kind oh, gotcha. of game that you press buttons and gotcha. Play. No, I don't have anything. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's it, it's this. it's speaking to me. It's speaking <laughs> to me for sure. It is. It's is it is it just like a new in box? Has it been used before? Or? Yeah, we used it used when it. the kids were little. Gotcha. It's probably 30 years old. Maybe not, 25 years old. 93. So, yeah. pretty close. So <laughs> pretty yeah. close. Yeah. Hmm. Is it okay if I take it out of the box and look sure, at yeah. it? Right. No electronic. Yeah, feel free. 
All right, you talked me into it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> guys, I don't know if we're way off with this M&M dispenser, but uh, the comp will be up here, guys. It is used, but the fact that it came with a box and it was only two bucks, I'm taking my shot. Like, I didn't even look up comps on it, so... We're just, we're just going with it. I mean, if anything, this is going right into the collection. So the plan was to hit a couple more before the rain came. And of course the rain came. So, but I think that as far as like vintage, you know, eighties and nineties stuff, we definitely did okay today at the garage sales and, and the flea market. So I'm i uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. You know, we got some stuff for the possible collection. We got some stuff to flip immediately. I mean, all in all, not too bad not too bad you know don't let the rain deter you guys uh with that being said guys thank you so much for watching hit that sub button do it you know you want to uh and we appreciate you guys so much we'll see you later on the next one